featured game. It's Metro time. Welcome to the planet of whatever it's called. Mm, Talon 4. Talon 4. That's my father's name. Call me Talon 5. Talon Jr. <laughs> I, the planet should totally have juniors and seniors. <laughs> uh, the moon should just be like Earth Jr. Yeah. Oh, I can only see a black screen again. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. I start just watching the stream and then don't notice, but... <laughs> okay. I know it was a bit of a long way. Yeah, I can't... It was... It, no, it Chozo was the ruins. cold place it wanted, right? You gotta go to Fendrana. Yeah. Go get nice and chilly. I think in Magmore is where the passage is. If you could live in one of these biomes so far, which one would you pick? Uh, probably... It's Chozo Ruins. Chozo Ruins aren't bad. I think I'd be a Talon 4 guy. Yeah, uh, in the main just, area. It's just wet. Nice and grassy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, everything feels so nice and calm in the Fendrana area. Like, it's... Mmm, it's true. It's more of, yeah, yeah a nice good vibe. Private place. Yeah. Totally. Just to maybe spend your retirement. Oh, yeah. Or at least weekends during my retirement. Mm, yeah. Yeah, or winters. I mean, yeah. summers. I, I, I summer in Fendrana. <laughs> yeah. And then I go to the Chozo Ruins in the winter. <laughs> exactly. Didn't, uh, oh right, I was gonna say you do this already, but of course you did. There's some pigeons. Gotta be rude Oh man, at least that means you're gonna have a delicious pigeon supper tonight. You gotta hunt them down, gobble them up. Dang pigeons. Just won't stand for it. No. You gotta, I think you gotta start making traps. That's the ultimate way to deal with them. You can be that cool guy who has a bunch of pigeon traps, and then you could befriend them. No, or... that's the problem. I just, yeah, I don't want to have to do anything like that. Right. Like, yeah, I love the idea of having an army of homing pigeons, but... It's, yeah. That's like a challenge, a logistical nightmare. If I got, yeah, I guess if I uh, started one on the roof, it wouldn't be as bad. Yeah, if it wasn't in your space directly. Exactly, because you're just going to get covered in shit. Yeah. But you do still have to be responsible to go up there and feed them or they're going to die, I would assume. Uh, I don't know. Pigeons feed themselves. I, I mean, yeah, they feed the, shit. They survive without people like, feeding them. But you'd but have just like a cage up there, and they could like come and go as they pleased, and you'd have just food waiting for them. Just get feel it every once in a while. I, I could live the life of a pigeon. I don't know. It would be shitty. I like I, yeah, but a pigeon in like I like a New York pigeon. You could at least like see some cool cultural things. <laughs> I feel like they're like, always so gross, though. Like they're like oh, losing yeah, feathers sure. and stuff. I'm like, yeah, they're always these pigeons have seen some shit. Yeah, they're like they're diseased. Yeah, that's true. I think I'd still rather be a pizza or a, a New York a New York pigeon than a New York rat. Oh, definitely. Yeah, being able to fly would open up a lot. <laughs> yeah, at least you can get away from. It. You're just stuck in sewers your whole life, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, it would be cool to see the world from the point of view of a rat, but probably not for very long. Yeah, I know. It'd be cool to be able to, like, climb anything. Yeah, oh, that would be great. There's got to be some small rodent that's an expert at climbing, though, too. More oh, there's better rat. things to be, yeah, for sure. But no, there's not many better common city things to be. I'd rather be a cat. Yeah, yeah, but, like... What even is a New York cat? Do those exist? Of course they do. No one in New York has a cat? There are indoor cats in New York, though, is the thing. Oh, no, you can, of course there's out there, like, cats go outside. Interesting. I can't even imagine being an outdoor cat in New York. It's probably awesome. What a life, what a life that would be, yeah, if you just like so the movie cats. Things to, like, yeah, walk on. Fences and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or up on high rises through the scaffolding. Yeah. There's probably a decent amount of stray cats as well. It's true. I wonder if there's any city monkeys with what was Central Park now. I doubt it. I would love to be. A new, I'm a New York City monkey. You know, oh, I think then cool you're, yeah, then you're in the zoo for sure. Oh, yeah. Unless you broke out of the zoo. Then they catch you. They're not letting that monkey go free. Uh, I guess monkeys are probably pretty expensive to get. It to be a, yeah, you have to be in a jungle, basically, to get a monkey. Right. I mean, but you I'm pretty be, sure people call New York a concrete jungle all the time. You can be one of those monkeys in, like, Thailand or whatever that are, like, super used to tourists oh. and just... Wasn't well, there, like, a town that got overrun by the monkeys? Yeah, yeah, they, like, push people around. That would be so crazy. Came the the rule yeah. of law. <laughs> I would be fine living in the city that the monkeys took over. I don't know. I feel like oh. they'd be ruthless masters. Uh, that's true. But if you just like always have some like food for them with you or something. I mean, always is quite a. That's a pretty big ask as well. But <laughs> yeah. What happens if you, if you don't? <laughs> you don't find out. Yeah, they're gonna like claw at your face. Or just shower you in feces, yeah. or... If you're lucky. Yeah. If you're lucky, you get away with a poo shower. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, monkeys, it's one of those things I love a monkey, but they actually seem like kind of just the worst. Mm, yeah. They're just agents of chaos. They're too close to people. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Having a pet person, they, it would just be a matter of time until they just want to fuck with stuff. Alright. Wow, way over there. So far. I don't even know where you get there for you. Totally. It's going to be like a some hallway I haven't found yet or something. Remember, we were, like, going to come to the Fendrana Drifts next. Yeah. Because he kind of went through everywhere else. Yeah, exactly. God, I love the music in Fendrana. It's so, like, calming. Yeah. As soon as we switched to Metroid, I've just had the most runny nose in the world. Whoa. Like I'm, a, I'm allergic to Metroid. Maybe to remakes. Uh, okay. Hmm. I thought it would be this room somewhere. There is a little thing up at the top there. A little alcove? That does look like something you can do something with. A place for a ball, but it depends whether I can get into it from this side. Yeah. What's this? 
us. Just a bit of rubble. Here somehow. Hmm. Oh, yeah. there. Ah, damn. Oh, magnet ball. Yeah. Shit. That's got to be the next thing you get. Oh, here we go. What's that down there? Okay. How did I miss that? What? Unless what it's a dead see? end of some kind, but. Like a super oh, yeah. obvious little room. I keep on accidentally just watching the stream, so <laughs> I'm behind. just needlessly a minute behind, yeah. They're right next to each other, how can I know? Huh. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful scam. Oh, oh it, so it wasn't just a dead end for this. Yeah. To open the door above. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, that's where that is. Oh, well, okay. yeah, there's I, a door in the side of that one. Yeah, I went through the wrong room there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a little western. Nice that goes to there, though. How do I get in there? I have to go up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the way up. Blew that guy apart. He wasn't even fearing for your life. Uh, Can you make it across to that pillar? No. I can't remember how. Oh, it's that I think. Oh, uh, is it? No. No. That takes you okay. Back to I the think I have room. to. I think I have to go all right, through this way. Same way I just was. The long way. Yep. Thing. Charting a map is hard work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we're exploring a planet. Yeah, that's all right. First person to do it in hundreds of years. Exactly, so. Gonna do some travel Although, here. Although, actually, for you to be exploring, why is the snow so shallow everywhere? Animals. You think that yeah, animals are just tracking? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Okay, fine. Whoa. You guys? Whoa! No. Leaping Ice lepers! Careful, don't burrow oh. you. There's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah they're really Instance. annoying, too. That, this path up seems like a way to maybe a missile expansion or something, actually, that you were just Oh, maybe, on. yeah. It seems like a weird off-the-beaten-path path. You just seem to just... Can you jump across from here? Once you're at the top part? Oh, yeah, I these can't assholes. explore, yeah. With these guys. Yeah. <laughs> they suck! I don't know, it just seems to be a dead end, though. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Want there to be missiles everywhere. I move around too. Yeah. And they're up for just so small an amount of time. Like once you're at the top, I thought maybe you could jump across or something. It's a weird, it's a conspicuous path. Huh. Yes, no. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's the bomb boost. False bomb boost. Whoa! 
Right in my face. Wow. Yeah, they got their balls all up in your face. Okay. Oh yeah, it's purple door. There you go. It's a purple door. How did we... I don't understand how we didn't just see that last time. Well, we went we I think as soon as I got the wave beam, I was like we're going, we gotta go somewhere else. Oh yeah, I guess. Like, we'll be able to open the door somewhere in a different place, but... Not anywhere but here. Yeah, exactly. He's just off stomping around. I, I'm, yeah, it'll, I'll be pretty surprised if it's not the uh, spider ball you get. Mm, yeah. Let's go. Like, this guy's not moving around enough for you to fight him the proper way. <laughs> I've been trying to jump oh. over him. Yeah, that way. Hmm. Went to this room. Right above you. Huh. Can you just jump there? Yeah. Hey, Granny Gamer. Oh, what's up? Oh, boop, 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 wow. Happy Friday. We need just an air horn. Absolutely. When people come in the chat. I mean, this is way better than any air horn. <laughs> yeah, could just be a, a sound alert of us making an air horn sound. Oh yeah, totally. You just gotta crank that sound alert to like maximum volume so it hurts yeah, everyone's ears. For sure. <laughs> really announce their entrance. Oh. Uh, I think, like, air horns are kind of the whoopee cushion of the future. <laughs> oh, how? I don't know. That you could make someone think someone farted by blasting an air horn in the same room as them, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a funny prank. Yeah, I guess you. <laughs> you just have, like, maybe they just sit on an air horn. Oh, there you go. It'd scare the crap out of them. Yeah. Granny <laughs> asks, how's Metroid... <laughs> They've got that sound alert. It's super loud. See, everybody, everybody thinks they want an air horn <laughs> until they actually get an air horn. Uh, Metro is pretty great, it, but we've been stuck for a little while on how to progress. Yeah, but we know it's through there. Just gotta yeah, get you up just got to figure out how to get up in here. I don't know how. Yeah, go, yeah. Huh. This room is really suspicious and weird. You must have gotten a thing in this room already. Right? I don't know. Yeah. Unless there's like a hole I'm missing. They're gonna be lurking as they're getting ready to stream. Oh, what are you gonna stream? Yeah, what are you playing these days? Anything exciting? Always oh, playing something different. At the Grand Thanks. Gamer HQ. Uh, I, those streamers that only stream one game all the time, I think it would make me go nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only one, there's it. only one game I could do it with. Smash Bros? Yeah. Like, I could do Binding of Isaac, but, like, I would lose, I would do, like, a run a day, and that's as much as I, those people who do, like, seven hours yeah. of just Binding of Isaac, would, I would go nuts. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you're still, still doing working on Sweet God of, God of War. War. That's awesome. Boy. Yeah. Boy. It goes on I, surprisingly in, long, that game. In Dead Cells, I just unlocked the boy's axe. Oh. It's a fun, yeah, little reference. That's crazy. Yeah. So many references in that game. Everything is a reference in it, practically. It's ridiculous. Will we be streaming this one again? Oh, yeah, I think we're, we're planning on beating this one on the channel. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, 
for sure. Maybe we'll never figure out how to get in this purple door, though. So yeah, maybe not. I'm confused. I can't see any way up. There's a bunch of places oh. that look like it. Right, there. like you, you can't just double jump. Yeah, <laughs> it so looks like you should just be able to double jump right there. I know. There. What about over to the right a little bit? Can you double jump onto it? The one that the right, yeah, there. Yeah, no, I'm like, yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing. Geez. Double jumping around, but you just slide off everything. Um, it's got to be a way to get up. What are those things like dangling from the ceiling up there? They're enemies. Okay. Oh, they're new. Huh. Ice Shriek Bat. Ice Shriek Bat. Yeah, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Totally. Uh, on the GameCube, and I'm, I uh, yeah, I was gonna play it, like I was gonna play the GameCube version Maybe. on stream at some point, but then this game came out, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm playing it right now. Who needs that? Yeah. Just made it obsolete. Yeah, and this is, yeah, definitely the best way to play it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? Can I scan this thing? I don't totally know. Can you even thing. shoot it? Are you sure? Oh. If that fell down, then I could jump up, up here. You're right. It looks like it should too, but it also isn't letting you scan it. Or yeah, it's weird. That oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta find its weak spot. It has a weak spot in the base. Uh, of course. You shot it with missiles all over, but you missed the base. Uh oh, that's not the base. That's where I scan. Not it, the base. Totally. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not missiles. Maybe, maybe I need not the wave. I don't know what it. Oh, your regular. Wait. Oh shit! I always forget how to switch. It makes <laughs> sense. I just always forget how. Hold down. No, no. You hold down a thing and then use the D-pad. And the D-pad is normally just the visor. Oh, there we go. Why? Power B. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck? Are there other stalactites you could shoot down maybe first? That'll get you a different angle? No. Mm. Not near the base. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't say, like, a missile could just launch that. Totally. Yeah. Huh, that gotta be the way up. Gotta be the way. But Nowhere else. What am I missing? You don't have like super missiles of any kind yet, right? No. No. Try just shooting the tip with a missile. Googled it and people had this problem at least in the original Super Metroid. It's missiles and you just have to hit the right spot. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I am doing it right. Because, yeah, I was just about uh, to assume well, that I wasn't. I don't. Like, that. Maybe that's different. I don't know. Uh, hey, DC Junkie. How's it going? What's up, What's DC it? Junkie? Uh. 
Oh. oh. To get up to uh, here. Get a, get a different angle on this. I was thinking type. maybe I could get up there, but. It's gotta be. You, you must be able to get a shot from that weird room part of this room that you were in. I feel like once Remember I'm up there, then I'm up there. Yeah. And that's that was my goal is to try to get up. There. But I see. Yeah, I could see that happening because the room is okay. I'll I'll try that. I was thinking of going into this other room and exploring. It's just yeah. It feels like it's nowhere close to where it's weird. Oops. Oh, or no, I thought that there was that weird subroom in the room you were in, I meant. I don't know where you're going now. Yeah, no, I'm seeing if there's anything in this area oh, that... There it is. Sweet. You also need to replenish your missiles anyways. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so, not what DC Junkie meant at all, but okay. Uh, oh, I know what you, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's in that weird little alcove building, I think. But I was hoping maybe there was a way through here. Yeah, that's so weird. It feels like it should have been easier to shoot down that thing. I wonder. Oh. Oh. Tricky platforms. Yeah, okay. So I'll go to the entrance and then just turn to the right. I think that is that, is that weird little room. Yeah, spot. exactly. There must be a way through there that I can find. How did those guys come back already? They are eternal. Oh, that'll do it. Oh. Yep, there somehow. Oh, how did I miss this? Uh, how did you miss this? Billy Pants. Hiding in plain sight all along. So sneaky. That Metroid. Oh, it's like you, you can, can walk on walk even. onto it. Yeah, um, it's that is weird though. Ultra bullshit. Yeah, because it's like the exact same <laughs> side that I was looking at it at. Yeah, for sure, you didn't hit it at a different angle. Yeah. Well, I guess the missile hit it at a different angle. Maybe it just jarred it loose just right. <laughs> but come on. That's ridiculous. Oh, birds! Ice streakers. It's a cool sounding horror monster. Yeah. Ooh, Progress. Bird. Finally. Progress. It took a minute, but. Oh. Yeah, so they got dumped on me. Yeah. Like I just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Now you're just covered in monster Gatorade. <laughs> oh, so many options. Plugged. I gotta charge it up. Uh, cool. Doing stuff. The head flaps, of course. The head flaps? <laughs> yeah. My favorite type of flaps. They should have put up a, like a sign that said what that button did. Yeah, Chozo. Well, like, for yeah, for all these complicated machines they've got, they really don't have proper safety procedures or anything, no. really. No. no wonder the Chozo got wiped out. Can't make that, can I? borderline oh 
it's so close. Don't you just have to... Oh, I don't know. Don't you just have to park your ball in that other slot? Oh yeah, there's two here, but I haven't... Yeah, this is the one I didn't do. Ah, did you do the Foley on this game? That's oh, me. I'm the Foley artist. Oh, you gotta do it quickly. I don't think so. Oh, no? I oh, just... those were two different head slots opening. Yeah, and now I opened, I made a new slot. I guess that's uh -huh. it. Oh, yeah, it looks like that's your new slot. 21st century. Oh, slot. no, that's my slot. Oh, there you go. Ah, what are you doing? It's a slot I've been waiting for all my life. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta blast that slot. Oh, make the water come out of the... The head slots start oh, gushing. Head slots. Yeah. yeah, I'm totally getting spider ball. Yeah, oh, it's gotta be, right? Oh. I don't know what other power-up... Other than different guns, oh, I don't shit. know. And grappling hook. Oh. No. I panicked when I heard that it was like an alarm, like a timed thing. Oh, it's, oh, you gotta be too quick. I yeah. hate timers. That's the biggest issue with uh, uh, Dredge. It's all timer based. Oh yeah. Yeah, but hey, I'm gonna, like, you know, you gradually upgrade your ship to make it faster, so it's not a big deal. We just had a big fancy cookie store open in Edmonton. Oh man, I love cookies. It's like a, a big American company called Crumble that opened today. Wow. And it had over a thousand people waiting in line to go. What? That's insane. That's wild. That is insane. It really is. The pictures of these cookies look pretty good, not gonna lie, but like... I'm sure they're great. For like, but for like $8 a cookie, I have pretty high expectations. Like, that cookie's got to be oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, Whoa. bullshit. That was like a cool basketball play. But sideways. Oh, weird. It just has a lock on it when it's underwater. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine waiting in line. No, I uh, no. I will for more than ten minutes for food. For, yeah. When Popeyes first came out here with their chicken sandwich, I think I waited for half an hour once, but that was in a drive-through line, so like mm. just sitting in the car. That is better, yeah. Because it's music. But otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, if I'd ever be willing to. But then if you think, you go to like a nice restaurant and you order your food and you still have to wait like 20 minutes, 25 minutes for your food sometimes. Yeah. Usually you get like some like bread or something or just stuff. Oh to yeah, eat. that's true. Or drinks. Yeah, that's yeah. true too. Yeah. Uh, I also like, this is a fast, this is a place that's like just a... Uh, like uh, a mass market cookie oh. place so within like two weeks i'm sure you'll be able to just go whatever you want yeah exactly yeah like, i don't, I don't get, need that like the, yeah i must like the novelty of do of eating a cookie now oh the novelty of being the first one to eat one of these cookies I yeah guess. like what if you know there's spoilers on the internet <laughs> about these oh, cookies that's what if I get these cookies spoiled for? That's I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Now I feel regret. Oh, uh, we just should start a website, cookiespoilers.com. <laughs> we'll you don't ever have to eat a cookie again because we're just gonna ruin all the flavors for you. Surprised me how little um, Last of Us seemed to get spoiled for anybody, considering I, the whole story is out there. Same. Same thing with Game of Thrones. If the whole story's already out there, nobody cares to spoil it, I guess. Yeah. 
you have the you have Whoa, if you want to go on your own time, buddy. you can find out how it completely ends if you want but yeah it's weird i still sort of think i, I wonder if they're gonna make it vary in season two if it's just gonna always be just a one-to-one -one, pretty much i think they'll add some stuff yeah yeah i know i know man you're on your way there already those are some delicious looking tanks. You want that goo? I would just bathe in that goo. Bury me in that goo. Bury me in that goo. <laughs> oh. oh, what's this? Who's this guy? Oh, little mini boss guy. 343 Guilty Spark. Oh, and pirates. Oh, pirates. Oh, is it like an alarm thing? Oh, it must be. Oh, we didn't talk about it on stream at all, but did you see that Funko is closing down Mondo posters? No. Brutal. They bought them out and... Terrible. Like two months later, they're just shutting it down. Yeah. That's brutal, yeah. Yeah, I hate it. That's I finally awful. got one. I got a Pompondo poster, so I'm happy, but, like, what the fuck? And it's even worse that, like, yeah, the most disposable, crappy collector's company is what's closing it down. Well, yeah, now, I don't know, they're suddenly doing terrible? Is Funko doing terrible? I thought so. Ah, uh, interesting. They, I, they just fired a whole bunch of people? That That's, they fired the entire Mondo staff. Yeah, but like, so they're, or, like, fire, yeah, they're like. Oh, they're, yeah, it's. Um, and then I, I, I heard believe, something about just tons of the Funko dolls, like, going to a landfill for some reason. Oh, right, huh. It's one of those things, I just, I never understood how Funko was so popular. They just, yeah. They just had every brand. They rode the I back, guess, yeah, of every was. pop culture thing. Yeah, they were able to be first on so many. Well, not even first, because then they would put out, like, full house Funko Pops what and the shit. Fuck? Like, oh my god, this oh, man. game. The turrets have definitely been the strongest enemy you faced so far. I mean, he didn't even hit me there. I was just, like, he didn't. It, nothing's giving me energy. Oh, yeah. Just getting missiles. Getting tons of now missiles. you're full up on missiles. They don't need any more missiles, point. so it's oh good. map. That's pretty close to a save point. Can at least show me where the save point is. Oh yeah. Oh god. That's the save point in that pass. Oh, wow. Right? That's the only one. Huh. Unless there's there's others that just don't show it as a save point. Yeah. I think the room before you, that small room's got to be one, right? The one? This guy? Yeah. Right? Yeah, it could be. That's It's so s small. It yeah. could only be a save room or a map room. Yeah, I gotta go. Check it out at least. Yeah. I was really worried that the space pirates were going to be back in this room when you came out of the map oh, room. Oh, man. Oh, uh, would have been a disaster. I don't know if I can make that jump, though. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, I think I can. Oh, yeah. Put those dudes down there. Yes. They can't touch you. Woo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Hey, old Lacko. What's up, Lacko? How's it going? Oh, I'm listening to some American hip hop. Oh, I'm loving those beats. That's the name of my jazz album. He's vibing. I'm gonna put out a jazz album called American Hip Hop. <laughs> but it'll be a polka album. Oh, oh that would be good. We go see what's in this big room. Lacko is wasted, so go ahead with the music yeah. and watching us play Metroid. Perfect. What did you drink tonight, Lacko? Was it a beer night, or were you having spirits? 
We're having a spiritual evening. <laughs> You're drinking ghosts. Oh, I wish. Those get you fucked up. Only, Laco's only a beer guy. That's good. Fair. Just don't mix your drinks. That's the main thing. It's true. Or, but if you do mix your drinks, be one of those weirdos who pours, like, uh... What's the thing that they were trying to make everyone drink for a while, where you take a, like, a Smirnoff thing and pour it into your beer? It's just the worst. Mm. People still drink those things, yeah, where they, like, turn it upside down and stick it into... Yeah, like, it's called, like, a rocket or something? Margarita? I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, too. I had an old fashioned the other day and I thought it was so bad. <laughs> Cause I like I don't like to drink, so I'm like, well maybe I can be a weird fancy cocktail guy or something. And it just tastes like drinking pure straight hard alcohol. Well I think yeah, it's old fashioned. Nothing fancy. That's about so it. gross. It's, just, it's probably just yeah. It's bitters and whiskey. Yeah. Like it's just horrible. I, but I thought I could teach myself to like it, and uh, the yeah, answer It's like no. four people who like the taste of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's the thing. I thought it was more of a, if you want to learn to like the taste of alcohol, maybe this is for juniors. Oh, no but it's not. way. No. That's for someone who's experienced at drinking. It's old-fashioned, right? exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's for the people who just like to have some whiskey with ice, and that's <laughs> all. Like, yeah. Or even, yeah, or without. Laco is watching the Great Beer Run movie on Apple TV. Oh. And it's really good. I don't know that one. Get that beer. But he's looking forward to watching the Tetris movie on Sunday. Watch oh, yeah, out. I also, uh, for those beer pirates. Watch the Tetris movie. Uh, they also, uh, uh, Ted Lasso just started on Apple TV again. New season of that's going. Very exciting. Uh, Man also Lauren this past... is on right now. I oh, that's back. Yeah, the Yellow Jackets came back this past weekend. Exciting times to be alive. TV, TV is back. Arco says uh, when it's alcohol, he's just a beer guy, not a fan of mixing stuff. But in his time in university, he was into wine and stuff. Oh that... yeah. I'm never wine is where I stopped drinking. I can't do that wine. Was the, it's the quickest way to get drunk. It just it's makes the, me sleepy. That's, I, everything makes me sleepy. That's the problem. Beer makes me like kind of crazy. That's the best. Oh, and I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like Whiskey it. Whiskey just makes poop. me sad. Oh yeah, tequila makes me angry, so I avoid it. I don't know if there's, I don't uh, know if I have an angry one. Tequila, right, I think, makes me a little crazy, me a too, headache. so that's a good one. Right. Yeah. The ones that, like, pump me up are the good right. ones. Right. Um, uh, the rye and uh, Prosecco and Champagne are the only drinks that, like, I actively Whoa. want to throw up thinking about. Like, they're just, what? what? Did just you happened? fall through the floor? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that's wild. I don't know. I, I feel like someday I will find an alcoholic drink that I like to just have as a sipper. I work at a bar. Like, I could just... Oh, yeah. You have the opportunity to discover drinks. if you yeah. wanted to. Yeah. But how often do you drink when you're at work? Pretty like Not very often, but I definitely could. Right. I have done, so... Yeah, sure. Usually... I just, like, if I'm working, I'd probably rather just drink some water, generally. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Um, now that I'm more used to running it, I'll probably start drinking on Fridays oh, yeah. and Saturdays because it's like doing pianos. You should try. Is you should good. find the the fun cocktail that's good. Super try boring. Like a Negroni. Yeah. Oh, gotta try all those the, uh, Cosmopolitan. I bet those are good, right? Yep. No, I know. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I should, I should try a bunch of different. You types. should start. Yeah. Then I can use you for drink tips. Yeah. Uh, Laco says the new Yellow Jackets he didn't see, but last weekend he watched South Park, so he's up to date there. Ah, I didn't even know South Park was back. That's weird. I think I might be like two seasons behind on South Park. Mm. 
Interesting. But thanks to Paramount Plus, which is included in his Sky subscription, he watches the new episodes. Like the Prince Harry and Meghan episode. Interesting. Mm. I, I, I do like that. I should just watch, get caught up on that. Yeah. It's on, good Cra- it's on, it's on Crave TV here, but they only upload the full seasons like a year and a half after it's aired. So I don't think. And then for a little while with South Park, there weren't even episodes. They were just like specials or something. It was weird. TV got too complicated. Complicated life. Are you, are you currently watching uh, the Mandalorian, or you're waiting for it to be all? Uh, yeah, I probably wait. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I haven't started. Yeah. This... yeah. yeah. Feels like one Pedro Pascal show ends and another starts right away. Yeah, that's the thing. I was watching that Boba Fett one, which is okay. But oh, it yeah. has like a like the Mandalorian in it. And like that, it, it sort of becomes a Mandalorian type show halfway through or something, doesn't it? Or? Totally. There's like one episode that's like Boba Fett's not even in it. Basically, it's just the Mandalorian. Right. That's so. But it was okay. Um, but I've also been slowly going through The Last of Us. Oh yeah. When I feel up for it. <laughs> when you want to be a little darker for a yeah. while. <laughs> yeah. When you watch something super heavy. Uh-huh. Um, so it's just been really weird watching those two Pedro Pascal shows at the same time. Oh, yeah. Totally. Is he, he's more of like a, a quippy guy in The Mandalorian, right? No, no. No? I thought he was like an action star kind of thing. He's, yeah, so he's just he... like kind of is he's more like a um man with no name type yeah, situation exactly a western right. okay western action star right interesting and is grogu still the main focus of that stuff yeah that's cool I, yeah i i i remember watching the first episode and like that's the one that has like Werner herzog in it man and, i was thinking of that when i was watching both i was like man I remember when Werner herzog was in the mandalorian it was so oh, weird that was yeah. awesome that first season is still the best totally mostly because uh, of herzog like they shouldn't Black have killed him off he should have just been the main villain for the whole series yeah oh for sure I yeah, he's, he's just so fun to hear talk and, he and loved, be amazed by it. this baby, this Yoda Grogu. baby. Yeah, this is yeah. amazing. You will not uh, CGI it. Blacko is addicted to all for all mankind. That's his show. Is it? Should I watch that? Is it? Because it's like uh, that's sci-fi, but it's not like it's like space sci-fi, right? I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks weird. Uh, yeah, it's it's one that it's one of those Apple shows that got bananas good reviews right off the bat. Like alternate history. Oh, huh. It just it, it looks cool, but then like I preferred to watch Raised by Wolves on Apple TV, which was more of the just insane, stupid sci-fi. Mm-hmm. This sounds more like. Uh, I don't know, like Man in the High Tower, yeah, alternate history kind of thing. Yeah. But then this one gets such crazy good reviews, I might just have to do it. Give it a try. Exploring the possibilities that might exist if the global space race had continued and where humanity would be right now. Like, that's an interesting premise. Whoa, turn this whole place on. Blacko watched the first season of Raised by Wolves and it didn't catch him. Oh, and if you didn't like the first season, the second season was so much stupider. But hmm. man, was it hilarious. At some point, a giant dragon descends from the sky and eats a woman that had turned into a tree. And then that makes the dragon turn into some crazy new kind of monster. And like, It's just, I don't know, it's just a drug trip. Sounds like basically a JRPG. Yeah, yeah, kind of. But with weird sci-fi. Apple TV's 
kind of cool. It's got some neat stuff. Doesn't it have that... Oh, what's that other sitcom of theirs? It's got Raven whatever. Mystic um, Sword? Mythic, Mythic Quest? And... I saw a trailer that looked crazy for uh, a new Gendy Tart. Gendy Tartakovsky show. Oh, yeah. That apparently, huh. he's been wanting to work on for, like, his whole career. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Um, it looks crazy. I don't know what the hell it's even about, really. <laughs> like, oh. a time-traveling steampunk robot. Tweet. Yeah, and there's just, like, warriors that are reborn throughout the ages. I don't know. It looks nuts. Called Unicorn right. and Warrior or something. <laughs> yeah. There is no Unicorn though. I don't know why. They... Unicorn Wars? No, that's not. Andy Tarakowski. Uh, huh. Iko says I sh if I like some strange sci-fi, I should watch Alienoid. I'll look Alienoid. up Alienoid. I, I like the sound of that. I just like, I like just all dumb sci-fi. So Was it the Alien? Good. No. It was the Alienoid. We got a new power. Grappling? Super Missile. Super Missile? This, that's not the Spider Ball. Super Bullshit. Super Missile. Interesting. Alien, I'll, I'll try and track down Alienoid. That's fun. It's South Korean. Sweet. It's got a really, really fancy poster. What does Super Missile even get you access to? Hmm. There's also a new Wes Anderson trailer. It looks pretty good. Huh. What is the new movie? It looks great. It's like a... Oh, it is sci-fi, actually. Oh, it's the one that's got everybody in it. Yeah, more than a, past ones. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's, yeah, it's got a really cool poster I remember seeing. Of, like, the Grand Canyon kind of, like, old old like uh public parks looking poster yeah I, it's like i think they somehow make contact with aliens or something huh is it it's it's still a comedy i'm assuming yeah for sure the show you were talking about is called unicorn warriors eternal there you go yeah Baco knows we're lazy guys so he's searching for the english trailer to put it in the discord Oh, I don't even need to see the trailer. I, I it, I'll watch the movie. I'll track it down and watch it based on just looking at a description. Oh, is it a German movie? No, it's South Korean. Oh, right, you said that. Huh. It doesn't necessarily. Parts of it definitely look like a Gandhi Tarakovsky thing, but parts of it definitely don't. Yeah, in action, it looks pretty. Right. So, like, human characters just don't look like his stuff to me. Mm, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's got a bit of a different style. It looks pretty cool. Very steampunk and weird. Yeah, I like that steampunk robot with the top hat. Yeah, yeah. It's just a great part at the end of the trailer where, like, he's wearing a top hat over his top hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then he, like, greets, yeah, he greets somebody by lifting his top hat. Got a top hat. I don't even know how to use super missiles. Uh, don't you? Isn't it charge up them? You do a full charge and then you shoot missile from here, don't you? Oh, that's really awkward. No. Oh, that my, that's just how I remember. So clearly I'm wrong. Yeah. I got. It. Oh. What? Oh. More. Yeah. Yeah, I like going back to Lurk. That will destroy some nerves of other people who stream on Twitch. What he comes to do is destroy our nerves. <laughs> Thanks, Lago. Uh -oh. The nerve destroyer. That's right. 
I still remember uh, there was one awful reality. We talked about it on stream before finding the next cock destroyer was the reality show. It was like what a, what a what a title. Oh yeah. That's what you want on your business cards. Was that a boss fight? That room full of space pirates? No. Oh, okay. Oh, the research. Right, this is a whole other biome, isn't it? The research area? Hmm, I don't know. Ooh. so long reading here if we wanted to. <sighs> it's, what is oh, that? no, it's your daughter. Or your, your, I don't know what her relation is to it. I think at this point, she's never seen it before. Uh, oh, this is before all this that This is Metroid stuff? Prime, the very first Metroid. Right. Casino Royale. Mm-hmm. That's the first time she ever sees a Metroid? I think so. Wow. I believe in the, like... Oh, shit! If you look at, like, oh. the, um... Uh, like, chronology of the games. Yeah. This is technically the first, like, in the Weird. story. But... Like, uh, it's interesting, but I super don't pay attention to the story either. But, oh, like, no, yeah, just, it, it's, neat, it's neat that it's the first one. But this I is just remember that because it, it was like, that's why it was called Metroid Prime. Right, yeah. The, but then this the is such one. a momentous moment that they really just, it's a two-second cutscene. <laughs> and that's it. That's a good stuff. Yeah, but, I don't know, what's it supposed to be? Oh, it, yeah, it's nothing. It'd be either. weird if it was a giant momentous moment. Yeah, it's already in love with it. Yeah, like a Metroid, just showing a Metroid. Yeah. Kind of what they did in uh, Other M. There's like these weird rabbit creatures running around. Oh. And they're actually like baby Metroids. Oh, weird. We also forgot to mention uh, E3 is officially cancelled for this year. Yeah, probably forever at this point. Yeah, I don't know. It'll, I mean, and it's just that, too many companies. Still at the same time of year, there's going to be a lot of independent shows, but. Yeah, me, yeah. Um, I think they'll still be the. There's still too be many play. companies that dropped out. I don't know if there even will be. Yeah, it's up to basically oh, it's up not. to Nintendo and Microsoft at this point to coordinate oh, yeah. when they have their shows. Right. I don't know if they'll Weird. bother. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not sure Nintendo will give any significance to that date now. Well, because they're direct to do good enough. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter when they announce them. They only would do it at that time because there's lots oh, of eyes. Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of also uh, for new game announcements. The Game Awards has replaced E3. Online. Yeah. This is where the the big one happens. Yeah. And then the the like yeah the the developer specific shows will they'll just be like twenty five games in rapid succession and then it's weird. And then thanks to what Steam does now with like Next Fest and things like that, that's almost like E3 for indie games kind of now. Yeah. Very strange. But I did think it was funny. On the same day that they announced it was cancelled, Ubisoft sent out a tweet like during the week of the show when E3 was gonna be happening, they're like, We've got something going on still. <laughs> we still want you to come see our shit. Oh god damn it. You get, you get turned around in this thing, yeah. And uh, 
like, in all honesty, as far as press conference shows go, Ubisoft is the most entertaining one of all of them. <laughs> it's got the potential to be the worst, for sure. Yeah. They've had some weird ones. so many pirates in this part of the game. Whoa, what's going on in here? Yeah, all kinds of science. These are satisfying to take out. Oh, when they go, like, Ooh. careening all over the place? Yeah, that's good. If you were taking the time to read everything in this game, this part would take so long. Oh, I think I got a new visor down there. Oh. Ooh, what's the next visor? X-ray? Yeah, maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> I also can't remember what any of them do. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. They're on to you now. can't shoot me through this visor. Oh, thermal? Oh, yeah, I don't know what that's good for. Good job. Gotta jump that into thermal it. Visor. Oh, what? You gotta scan it? Probably have to, yeah, turn that off somehow. Oh, uh, the sonic rings must be turned off. Yeah, uh, yeah, force field. Oh, I guess it's that computer right up there. You see, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, new Sonic game gets its first surprise release on Steam. What the mm, hell is the murder what? of Sonic the Hedgehog? Weird. I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's like, a like, uh, what's it called? What, what are those novel things called? Graphic novel. Oh, weird. Novel yeah. That's, That's pretty strange. Bizarre. That's how you add an eyes to your face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amy Rose is hosting a murder mystery themed birthday party on a train. Oh. And then Sonic actually dies! Whoa. And they have to solve the mystery. Whoa, yeah, that sounds thrilling. That's very weird. It's also free! What? It's also free and it's out on April Fool's Day. So there's something uh, going there on, right? Right? Yeah, that's gotta be. It's, I mean, it's probably a whole game, but it's like a, yeah, just an April Fool's game. A, like jo a, a joke game. Yeah. yeah. It's probably really short. It took me reading that whole article to put it together. <laughs> that's the kind of April Fool's shit I can get into, is if it's, like, actually released things that I can look at. Sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that... That's the best, yeah, when it's just like um, making something awesome as a joke. Oh, yeah. Like it's not a real part of whatever you're trying to make. but As opposed to teasing me with something awesome and then saying, ha, it's never going to exist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, like actually make it. This is a weird visor. It's because it's all dark. Oh, I see. Okay. The rest of the game is just pitch black. Metroids are not terribly threatening. No. So. Here's those pirates you were fighting. This would be the preferred visor if you were hunting ghosts, probably, though, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Just thermal readings. Exactly. 
This is the next best thing to like a connect or whatever it is that people use. Oh, there's no power. Shoot it to put power in it? Huh, yeah. Who's that little jerk? Centrodrome. Oh, I should have known. Wow, 50% of the logbook. Pretty good. Oh boy, he is cooking your goose. Oh man. Oh. Wow. Guy. Oh, that's the first time I've seen her eyes. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen it a couple times. Yeah, it's always, I love that effect. Totally, it never really gets old. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, but he also just sucks. Yeah, that yeah doesn't work to his advantage. Oh. In Zero Mission, you had melee options too, right? I don't think so. In the 3DS one, you did. Okay. The remake. Whoa! Oh, cool. We're hanging there. Feels like I want to run up to these guys and swipe at them with my energy sword or whatever. Is that you went in there? I guess you got the visor. It's definitely where I was supposed to go. There's lots of shit. Totally. Happening. Yeah, everything's going down now. Oh. That must be a really scary way to die. <laughs> Just hurtling into the ground. <laughs> like, I was so convinced the next power up you were going to get was the Spider Ball, and you've gotten <laughs> two power ups since then. <laughs> Power's out everywhere. Crazy. But this is the save point in here. Perfect. This camera angle or is much harder on the eyes than watching <laughs> yeah. the game normally. Yeah. It's intense. Squinting a lot more. Yeah. That was awesome. Awesome. Made good progress and oh. we still just seem to be chugging along. Absolutely. I think you're over halfway through now. You got yeah. the halfway on the scanning at least. So. Totally. Yeah. Probably going to go here next and get the spider ball from this <laughs> boss. I don't think the spider ball exists. This will be a boss and I'll get a spider ball from him. Yeah. I can't remember any of the bosses coming up either, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too.
But wow. that'll have to happen next week. Because that's it for the week. Oh, go home. There will also be some Captain Rainbow. Yeah. Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame. Woo. Uh, we'll that's see. True. We'll let you know what else. More. That's right. More we, silly shenanigans. Any number come. of things. Definitely silly shenanigans. Silly, silly shenanigans. Oh, I'm going to shill so much. Thanks so much for watching, Lacko. Granny Gamer. Tiny Observer. Alex yep. KC. DC Junkie yep. was here. I haven't seen yep. you in a yep. while, so yep. it was great. Hang on. You think so? The Raid Band Monster? Bruno uh, Brand? Yeah. You guys are great. Go home, you guys. I'll just go home. Have a great day. Yeah. Have a yeah. refreshing. Go sleep it off. Can of Uncola. Mm.